I talk a lot about digital planning on this channel, but I've also have started to dabble in physical journaling, creative journaling, if you will. So if you wanted to start a business in 2024, which one should you pick? A digital business or a physical sticker business? Want to learn which one? Stay tuned. Today, we're putting two heavyweights head to head, the allure of having a digital product versus the tangible wonderland of a physical stationery store. Buckle up because it's about to get interesting. And of course, if you're all about making life's decisions a little more exciting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Let the showdown begin. Let's start with the basics. Digital stickers and digital planning versus a physical stationary shop. Let's put them head to head. So having a digital product does make it easier on the store owner because your, your products are technically always in stock. And if you use spaces like Squarespace or even Shopify, not sure, don't quote me on that. You don't have to put in actual quantity because it's a digital download, it's always available. Also, when you are on vacation or somewhere else that is not attached to your merchandise, you don't have to worry about packing or shipping anything. And obviously the shipping is free. The con of it is that because of the nature of digital products, it can be easily stolen. Your unique ideas and items can be stolen. People can use these for their own shop, resell them, etc. There's been talk of like Shein and Timu taking designers things and claiming them as their own and putting them on their shop. But as long as you have saved your back, have your watermarks on everything, make sure that you do have a TLC and a disclaimer for personal use on every digital product that you do sell. It doesn't stop it from happening, unfortunately, but it can lessen the amount of times that it can happen. If need be, you can always trademark your designs as well. It's costly, but you can do it. The other con is that you're only catering to a small community or a niche community which is people that actually digital plan and use digital stickers on their some kind of tablet instead of having a big niche like book readers or paper planners and things like that you're you're catering to a very small type of person that likes digital planning and sometimes for business that can be hard it can be a hit or miss because not everybody is going to be that person who plans on their tablet. Onto the flip side, picture this, you step into a physical stationary store like Papier, which is my favorite, surrounded by an intoxicating aroma of paper, the vibrant hues of pens and the tactile pleasure of flipping through notebooks. That's sensory wonderland where every item invites you to touch, feel, and fall in love. A lot more people would gravitate towards physical items, so. You can make sticker sheets, you can make paper with your logo and cute little designs. You can make sticky notes, you can make single stickers that people can stick on their iPads or Kindles or water bottles, whatever. The downside for physical stickers is the stock. You have to invest a lot for shipping materials, for shipping costs, for the actual manufacturing of your stickers, whether you do them yourself, you're still considered a manufacturer. So you have to invest in the printer, the print, the sticker cutter, all of the things. Or if you outsource, then you have to invest obviously in getting the items made to your specifications. Sometimes the quantities can be anything from 20 to a thousand. And it depends on what kind of source you want to do. It depends on what manufacturer you have found. It's all going to depend and it takes a lot more research than a digital product. That would be the downside and also shipping, shipping materials, shipping cost, physically having to send out stuff. If you are away from your home base or wherever your products live, you either have to put your processing time a little further out or go on vacation mode like on Etsy. And so that's the drawback of having physical items, but you do get a much larger customer base with physical products. With digital stickers and digital products, there is this symphony of simplicity. So there's no clutter, no mess, just the essentials neatly tucked away. Everything is here. 
when you come into your planner all of your stickers can be either in a folder or in the elements app if you're using good notes just everything is neatly in here you can change the colors of the pens highlighters you don't need a lot of supplies so this is again is very simple so if you're catering to a more simplistic database of people this would definitely be for you now for the artists and creators a physical stationery store would be your artistic oasis right the endless possibilities of sketchbooks array of colors stickers just feeling the textured feel of quality paper and stickers it's just a different type of haven for those who find inspiration in every stroke and shade so the last pros and cons is just sustainability. So digital obviously is eco-friendly. You're not printing anything out. You're not using tons of stickers and products and papers and cutting and all of that stuff. Your notes, documents, doodles, everything live in the cloud. So you have a, a much smaller carbon footprint. With stationary items, you're obviously creating more waste. You do have to cut things out. And once you, you you use a sheet like this, this whole thing goes in the garbage, things like that. So you want to think about what you want to leave, what kind of legacy you want to leave in the world. You actually want to have both. You want to cater to your digital people. And you want to have a sticker store to cater to your physical people. People that like textured stuff. People that love stickers and stationery. You can do both i have a stationary store that's both digital for my digital girlies and i have my physical stationary because as you notice in my videos i like to do both creative journaling this is therapeutic for me i sit down and i create these spreads they're are they very good no it just puts me in a different space i can just sit back and kind of create whatever comes to mind use little pictures it's also very textured it's easier to pass things like this along for memory keeping to your loved ones versus a digital product that has to be either printed or someone has to have the code to your device so creative journaling means a lot to me i'm very artistic i need an outlet this is why it started creating physical products but i also love my digital planner and my digital everything so i created both so here's what i will say if you want to create both i would say start out with digital products it is less overhead obviously because you don't need any physical products you don't need to buy anything just create your products one time and let them live on and find their audience wherever you want to showcase them at you can do it on your own website or you can use Etsy. Etsy gets a lot of foot traffic, if you will. They bring in their own customer, somebody that can be looking at physical stickers, may see your digital stickers and think, oh, that's really cute. I do use my iPad from time to time. And you won't have to worry about inventory as much, right? You just put it. I do 999 because it's so far away that I don't have to worry about updating that inventory in quite a long time. On my Squarespace website, actually, I don't have any quantity because for digital products, there's no quantity amount on it. So that works out even better than Etsy. So I don't ever have to worry about it. So dip your toes in with digital products. You can create them. There's tons of different places. If you draw and procreate, if you make them with Canva, if you outsource them, whatever the case may be, and then just sell them as collections. Whether you do them seasonally or buy products. Some people do like everyday stickers, fitness stickers. Sorry for the helicopter if you heard that. It looks like they're probably looking for somebody. I don't know. Start out that way. See how your business does. See even if you like running a business before you jump into it. I say start out with digital. Now, if you're like, I don't like anything digital. I don't even have a digital planner. And you just want to go ahead in a physical stationery shop. I suggest the same exact thing. Start small start don't start with sticker sheets unless you are going to make them yourself if you're making them yourself you will need to have a printer a sticker cutter and patience <laughs> that's all i can say if you are outsourcing them you just need to find a place that can do sticker sheets where they can individually it's a sticker sheet obviously but they're individually placed so you just have to research what that will look like for you and make sticker sheets. 
for the newcomers do not make anything that is seasonal because you will hold on to stock if it doesn't sell don't do anything too trendy as well like i was saying even if those seasons come around every year you'll still be holding on to that stock do something that can live evergreen first again you can do collections and launches as your business grows but don't do them at the beginning do collections that are going to live on so for example coffee time this is i love music and i love anything retro music style so i did those those are my evergreen products and as well as these these are very much evergreen journals because this can be used for your creative journal people do bullet journals and they do book journals they, they can add these into the book journals this is the first one that i that i did i'm gonna do another one with book journals in mind like star ratings and things like that going forward and they're gonna be a little smaller so that you can put them in your journal so those are my evergreen they're always going to be in my shop and then these can come and go as they want what i end up doing with my shop is once you sell out i put in a wait list in case people want more so if that wait list has over 10 i usually do 10 at a time then i go ahead and order 10 to 15 of them it's not that i ever take them out because they're seasonal but i just keep them kind of like in this wait listed rotation so but i really talk about them through their season so this would be fall this would be halloween and this would be christmas so i'll market them as such during those times but i'll keep them up for whoever wants them you know just last week i got a few of the cozy winter and a few of the other christmas you know this one makes sense for cozy winter because it's not tied to christmas but i did get orders for christmas ones just last week which i'm going to put them on sale because christmas is over it's really up to you how you want to set up your business and if you want to do both also, one thing I did want to mention that if you've done, if you start out with doing digital products, you can take some of the items. Let's say your customers have tagged you in and they're always using this Hello Springs digital sticker. You can make that into now a physical sticker because now you kind of have market research, I guess is the word I want, I want to say. You kind of have something to go by to learn that this particular digital sticker did really well so it could potentially do really good as a physical sticker so you'll see that people will use this in the bullet journal or a regular planner so you might want to create that as a sticker and since you already have the file for the digital sticker it's just easy to convert it into a physical product so again this is why i would definitely start with a digital product business first get your feet wet get all the market research that you need which stickers people are gravitating towards and then make them into physical stickers. And that's kind of exactly what I did. So I hope that when you think of your business in 2024, you think of everything that I have mentioned in this video, make the right choice for you, whether it's digital or physical or both. Take everything that I've said with a grain of salt. This is the advice that I can give you going forward. And if you have any questions or comments or anything related to having a sticker business or stationary business or having a digital product business please let me know down below leave that comment and i'll make a video about it if you reach to the end and want to learn a little bit more about what digital planning is you didn't really get the gist of it with just this video i'm going to leave a playlist of every single time that i digital planned it's going to be here on the side for you and if you want to learn and see the behind the scenes of studio vlogs I will leave that in the description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.